So this is gonna uh, be an excellent exercise to work the glutes on one leg and hamstrings on one leg. It's important here as I lean back into the squat, all the weight is in the heel of my foot that I'm squatting with. In this particular case, it's the left leg. But I'm using my arms to anchor my body so I can lean back. The assisted squat, same idea here. I'm squatting um, probably about 50% of my weight here, but I gotta lean back, keep my knees well behind my toes, just like the one leg squat. The figure skater or the superman, essentially you're gonna balance your whole body on one leg uh, with the arms and legs parallel to the ground. I'm doing a pulse here to cause a little bit more of uh, instability as well as work my hamstrings and glutes. The anchored sit up here, um, you just want to basically grip or hold on to something with your feet as you do a crunch or sit up movement. So if you don't have a piece of furniture to put your feet underneath, you can actually grab something with the uh, inside of your foot during any kind of abdominal crunch or sit-up movement. Assisted leg lifts, I'm actually just going to hold on to uh, another tool, whether it's a piece of furniture or a pole in this situation. This will allow me to have more leverage to lift my legs and get more repetition. Twisting plank, this is just going to work the um, obliques and upper and lower abs at the same time. So traditional plank, you just want to hold in a neutral position. In this situation, I'm twisting to work the obliques along with the upper and lower abs and lower back at the same time. We're moving to the swimmer, which is the opposite uh, of the abs. This is going to work the lower back muscles. I'm just alternating arm and leg lift with the uh, head elevated. I want to make sure I raise my arms and legs as high as I possibly can and, and hold for just a quarter of a second at the top of the movement. Butt blaster, this is just going to do exactly what it says. It's going to work the glute muscles. I want to make sure I come full range of motion, um, keeping my legs inside my hip gate, and this is the half repetitions to isolate the glutes. Once I turn my toe out, that's going to work the gluteus medius, the top portion of the butt, therefore getting the complete glute area worked.